Oh, I gotta search out that move I got from teaching Jean. If they say on passive controller while running on the enemy. <laughs> Someone answered someone's question on it like four years later. That's bad funny. Can you make Jean anorexic? Crazy. Asking all the real questions. Oh shit, he still says the brother shit in this game. I barely heard him, maybe they still have the guy. <laughs> Going crazy with the fucking physics in this game. What? <laughs> the point decks too? The point decks are button down?
Oh god, I'm like trapped in the game. I can't tap to Discord. Lately when I boot, I get stuck. <laughs> the made up language. Oh, me and my cousin can never figure out or decipher what the fuck he says, so we would just mumble and then say Brazza at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that shit will take you far. I'm thinking about hopping the deck dock. Ooh, computer mode. Dude, I don't like any of these t-shirts in this game. Die! <laughs> Jumping out and saying that. Oh, is this ice cream? I thought it was a microphone. Yeah, I had to, I had to jump in the Twitch and hit off a max combo real quick. For real. But I was thinking, like, there's no way the deck can, like... I'm not gonna be playing the Elden Ring on that on my TV, but I could be playing, like, pre, like, 2018 shit on my TV pretty well with it. I might hook it up in my living room with a, uh, with a dock. Oh, uh, yeah. I could play Let It Die on my TV. One of these t-shirts is a picture of an adult diaper and it says portable saving. Crazy. Cause he, cause he, cause he goes to the bathroom to save. That's insane, bro. <laughs> okay, the shirt of, of just himself getting fucking arrested is pretty good. I'll take that. I like the implication that uh, Travis can save his game by shitting his pants. For real. <laughs> There's always time to shit your pants. That's Friday night. Haha, <laughs> killer. <laughs> killer 5. Uh, if you have Killer 5, that's probably a homemade version someone made for you. God. Oh, I forgot you could get the fucking future visor in this game. I, I have to go with that for sure. I'll take it. Dude, I remember... I remember flipping the fuck out when me and Freddy saw that shit. Cause back... Back when I borrowed these two games from the Weeaboo, like, my friend lived with... Uh, in our freshman year of college. One of our inside jokes was just fucking around with visors. So we'd just wear oh, our yeah. visor around. Or just take mad pictures of ourselves in the visors. Making weird ass faces. You're talking about sunglasses visors, right? Like, you know, like the like Cyclops type shit. X-Men. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. we're on the same page. So that, that's like, I wish that style of sunglasses was mainstream to be honest. I actually fucked with it. But you Wait, like you wish it was what? Head. I wish that shit was mainstream. I wish that was a thing people actually wore. Yeah, for real, bro. It'd go crazy. Like, I mean, who's stopping I'm you, you know? Oh, no one. Myself. For real. Although, the secondary problem is, is that a lot of them aren't really designed to look that good, honestly. Like, a lot of them look mad shitty. Yeah. At least the ones I've seen. Like, they look like shit bikers would wear. Like, the kind of bikers who, you know, be fighting with everybody on the road and shit. Yeah, I have a shitty plastic pair. I mean, it's more interesting stuff. It's more like I bought it for laughs, even though I think it's cool. Yeah. 
I have two of them. I don't know where they are. One of them, I think, was just floating around my house for a while. I think it might have been my little brother's. The other one is, like, this weird, like, really flat one that doesn't, like, wrap around your head. So you could kind of just see out of your peripheral vision to the sides. It's kind of weirdly uncomfortable. It's, like, really flat. The song in this t-shirt shop is insane. It reminds me of the, the Lisa song that uh, fucking sample Shinmu. <laughs> God, I never played that shit. That game's goaded. Wait, Lisa or Shinmu? I guess the answer is either. Same. Honestly, yeah. Uh, I've looked into <laughs> I've looked into the Lisa shit though. But, because I figured to myself, like, I'd probably never play it. It does seem mad cool. Mad fucked up. You know the song I'm talking about? You've, you've probably heard it at some point. I can see that. Like, it's one of those songs that, like, when people talk about or bring up the OSC, it's usually that one. Yeah. I think Thor's definitely go on sale so I can redeem myself for giving up on it when it came out on P3. Fuck. I'm sure it'll go on sale soonish. Yo, the Travis looked crazy right there with the double blades and the, the visor. Holy shit. This is how I want to look. So good. But dude, even though I never beat that game, the fucking scene where, uh... What's his name? Kun Lo? That's the bad guy's name? Wait, what guy? The bad guy in Killer 7. What's his name again? Kun something? Oh, Kun, Kun Lam. Yeah. The fucking scene of him catching the bullet that is rent free in my head. <laughs> that shit is so godlike, man. I remember me, Freddy, and fucking, um, our friend who was showing us the game fucking going crazy at that part. That, that's like, like, there's nothing like that. People don't make shit like that. For real, dude. Like, you could never in a million years guess that that's what would happen at that moment. I don't see how smart you are, how much stuff you've watched. You could never guess that that's what happens when he shoots them. <laughs> like, that's yeah. just so fucking crazy. <laughs> fucking spinning around and catching the bullet, too. Fucking flying like a mile away from the momentum yeah, of the using bullet. Using the bullet to fucking fly is insane. That's like such an insane concept. No one could ever come up with that again. I remember like having to rewatch the scene on YouTube because I wasn't even sure what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Word, I remember fucking pausing that shit frame by frame, fucking like analyzing it with Freddy, and being like, oh shit, he spun around and caught it with his left hand. The god hand. The not god hand. Or at least, uh, I don't know if they're both hands or not. But I know it's his right one that's glowing. And then he spins around with his left. Damn, one of these motherfuckers oh, has a gun? I thought he caught it with his god hand. Fuck, that's even No, crazy, no, right? yeah, okay. yeah. You aim at the god hand, you shoot at it, and he spins around backwards and catches it with his left as he swings around. So he's already facing oh, forward when he grabs it. That's fucked. Like yeah. <laughs> the precision. It's nice that you could roll forward in this game, honestly. Hmm. I think I will have fun on Friday night. 
clueless. Spins his wheelchair around. He's standing up and he spins his wheelchair around. <laughs> Carmen Smith. I remember Do you even get anything from doing so these revenge missions? I have no idea. I'll be real, I don't remember a lot of shit from 2. One's the most like fresh in my memory. Most We're like same nostalgic here. and memorable one. I wonder if my opinion will change, but I was I really like Dan Smith the most when I was playing Killer Seven. But it's mainly just because I like the classic, classic. I like the classic, you know, like man in black suit with the uh, like suave hair. Like yeah. he carries himself that well. Sick character. <clears throat> I liked Masked Smith more, but I didn't learn enough about him. I didn't like him more, but I liked him as well. I mean, wait, would you say you didn't like who? I, I said I also liked Masked Smith, but I didn't learn enough about him to like really say I oh, like yeah. him as a character or anything. I just like you know the Luchador. <laughs> yeah, he's sick. There's some cool stuff later on with him. Oh fuck. Revenge missions can have hidden fucking shit in them. Apparently there's no second chance either. That's crazy. What? Is this guy just driving his fucking car around? I'll have to work one more fucking day. I want to work. Beef we. Yo, I forgot. Did you do the Henry part already, or just the Shinobu part? Just the Shinobu part. I think the Henry part's coming up though soon. Oh my god, this fucking guy is running from me. Crazy. Dude, what the fuck am I supposed to do when that comes up on the screen? Oh, I forgot this is one of those ones where you gotta get the main guy. Yo, what the fuck? These dudes are just shooting one million bullets at me. <laughs> exact number. <laughs> I counted them. Dude, I like went and grabbed a flower sun and rain DS rum and then immediately thought, now what do I do? <laughs> I gotta patch that shit. I gotta find the evil shit for it. What do you have to find? English patch for FSR. Oh yeah. Oh, so for I PlayStation? I fucking ROM for it. No, for yes. I thought that shit came out in English. I'm pretty sure it's out in English. This? Yeah, yeah, I think it was an English game. I remember seeing shit about it. I think there's an official translation. 
I just immediately assumed it wasn't. Yeah, classic grasshopper style. I mean, why the fuck would they localize that one? Yeah, I know. And a fucking low end behold. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, we made a sequel to uh, a game that we deemed untranslatable. You guys can have it though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it probably stands upon its own as a story, but like, that's still crazy. Fucking deciding to translate it on the DS of all things. Fuck, that means I just grabbed the Japanese ROM of this game from no fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> So good. I hope that shit didn't take long to download. If I'm nah, right. Because nah. I'm not totally sure myself, honestly. The ROMs are usually tiny as fuck. I think DS games are like, what? Not even a gigabyte big. DS games? Shit. I think I downloaded a few, but I actually haven't fucked with having too many of the ROMs. Gonna have some flower fun and rain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the DS version dropped in Japan, Europe, Australia, and North America. That's crazy. Yeah. That's fucking insane he would localize that, but not Silver Case or 25th Ward until a decade later. For real. Imagine jumping <laughs> into Flower Sun and Range with, like, no idea about any of this shit, bro. Literally. Here's the game in the middle. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> No content. I mean, that's what I was saying. I'm sure it stands on its own as like just a playable story, but like people who would know would know, I guess. That's like if we never got Kingdom Hearts one and two, but we just got Chain of Memories. <laughs> For real. Again, with that would be Kingdom so Hearts fucked up. Comparison. <clears throat> the card game. Fucking hitting you with all these cards of different weapons and shit and being like, yo, you know what this one is? Haha. <laughs> I bet you don't. I think it's mad funny that the Tarzan world is supposed to be in Chain of Memories, but the rights holders are like, uh, nah. Nah, you get that shit out of there. Crazy. <laughs> And they've never had Tarzan in them since, right? Or some shit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they only had the rights for the Disney movie that one time. It sucks, bro. That's like one of the most iconic scenes in the first game, bro. Damn, what was the scene? I don't even remember. It's been too long. Not Clayton. Huh? <laughs> they're, they're not Clayton team, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. The what game? In Kingdom Hearts. The Tarzan world that has like the most iconic scene in the game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that part, but what's the scene? Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. The not the not Clayton scene. Whenever uh, Tarzan's like, ooh, ah, he, ah, not Clayton. <laughs> Yo, all of these dudes got guns. Son 
of a bitch. Oh my god. Just wailing on this guy right now. Oh my god. If I was Travis, I'd just stop answering the phone. So true. Just never leave. I think I know which boss is coming up. <coughs> the fucking Boncho. Sumo fucking match? Fights dog shit. Oh shit. Shit's terrible. Yeah. It'll improve once we get to the real part of the fight. I'm sure of it. How the fuck are you even supposed to do this shit? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fighting with those enemies from Mario 64 right now, bro. Oh, the bullies. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get that shit out of here, bro. Let's let's fucking do the real fight. Get off the fucking bike. Shit, I gotta hang on a second. Yeah! <laughs> 
Oh shit. You got rid of the you got rid of the bully reward? Yeah. A uh, long yeah, time I ago, I think. Yeah, because I brought it up, right? I was thinking the same thing. I was like, yo, that shit's gone. Hit my mind. I was just I was trying to hit it for the context. Damn. Yeah, I swapped it out for better shit. Oh, oh. Funny ass enemy, all it does is run at you and catch bump you. Dude, and the way it fucking like bounces backwards when you fucking. when it hits you or when you fall? I like to do the jumping kick at it. Oh, if I try to walk away from him, he does that shit early. Damn, bro, the timing's always mad different on that lunge, bro. How are you supposed to fucking nail him? Oh, he's out of here. <laughs> Alright, see you later. See you later. Hi. <laughs> oh, what's popping, dude? What's bounce, bro? Damn it, bro. What the fuck is that? Dude just unleashed Dragon of the Darkness Flame.
Christ, bro. I don't they never have to recharge their shit. <laughs> the fuck just happened? Travis brought the cheap shit, bro. That's why he skipped out. Dude, why didn't Travis get back up? Bullshit. Nice. Yeah, that was weird. It took a while, right? Maybe you had to do. Maybe you had to get one of those moves to kill him or some shit. Dude, it's mad funny how puny they, like, of a voice actor they fucking chose for this guy. <laughs> yeah. Stop! Stop! Why? You beat him. 
He had nothing I can hate her, bro. I know that, but he was a true warrior, and you gunned him down like a thug. This is not some PV karate tournament. Guys, Travis's code of honor is mad funny to me. For real. You are an assassin, and killing is how you win. But I thought what? He fought honorably, so you want to let him live? So he can come back stronger and cut you in half? You are developing a bad habit. First that dumb schoolgirl, now him? Just finish the job, or we will do it for you. These fights are not a sport. He looks insane with the fucking visor, bro. He looks so sad, bro. <laughs> for real. Ryuji was a real nigga. Oh no. There are some dream sequences in uh, Killer is Dead that kind of look like this. Yeah. Fucking disgusting. I must be having a nightmare. Or <laughs> Who's this little cutie? Is she real? Is she dangerous? How'd you do that? Read your thoughts? Well, you gave them to me. That the nasty ass sense. voice. I was hoping you'd wander around some more. Explore. Me? Yes, you. You did not want to go back, so you reached out to my consciousness instead. Now we are one. Let's play. Away with you. Away with you. <laughs> Away with you. That's no. funny as fuck. We live together. I'll never leave. I'm going back. If you want to go to the other side, then I have no choice. I've got to kill you. Why don't you come with me? You like it there? I know you're trying to trick me. What was any of fucking insane dialogue? Yeah, for real. Oh, classic! This fucking Henry Cooldown remix. Oh, you could do his fucking range attack. That's crazy. Gun? Kill this fucking creature. Abusing projectile iframes. Oh, is there actually iframes on the projectile? No. Nice. They're missing, all the projectiles are missing, though. Dude, it's impossible to hit him when he's launching them. That's hilarious. I'm not going near this thing, bro. <laughs> Disgusting. Fucking keep it away, bro. Dude, it keeps going for moves and I'm just snuffing it out. This shit is actually overpowered. It can't do anything. I'm just looping it. Take 
Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, the back. <laughs> Kevin Smith backflip. Oh shit. Get away from me. Yo, how big is this arena? Infinite. What the fuck? Infinite Azir, Tekken 7. I can't believe this motherfucker has iframes. On his projectile shot. God, how big is this place actually? Shit. Yeah, I'm fucking... What? I'm just go. It must be looping or something. Like, there's no way. Because I passed yeah, by a river like strange. twice. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely looping. Crazy. I'm not gonna grace this creature with that actual fucking slash. I'm just gonna projectile it from far away. From a comfortable distance. I think you have to finish it with a slash. Yeah, I figured. I'm just gonna bully it for a little more before I fucking kill it. Oh, it's- oh, it's dizzy. I forgot he has the dash. He doesn't have any grabs, huh? Getting to see all the moves I've been iframing past. Miserable creature, bro. Ew. No way. My chonker just died. Mimi? Disintegrated. Disintegrated. Oh, what? Chill out. Yo. <laughs> Fucking Travis, that was crazy. What the Just sitting there. <laughs> About time you woke up. Yeah. Are you the one who rescued me? I had a fight to win. You were just collateral damage. So get out when you can manage it. Until then, I've got some good shit on video. Jesus Christ. Oh, his face, bro. We'll see about that. The Victorian <laughs> child. Dude, just the idea, the concept of renting porn on video is so deranged. Okay. <laughs> it's so what? It's deranged, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, the buying hands. that shit, living at home, putting it in a VCR, like, that's crazy. <laughs> Having to rewind it before you return it, it's fucking crazy, man. For the next person. Forgive your big brother.
too much of a shite bag to thank you face to face. You're the big brother? <laughs> You're How do you know I didn't pop out which first? Which one of us popped out first? And the point is, nice. there's no honor in getting <laughs> rescued by my younger. Fucking call them out. So I took it upon myself to proper kill Scott Gardner, Greg Cantrell, <laughs> and Massimo Bellini. You've got to so be kidding me. Would you fucking people and stop no stealing my me. kills? This makes us even, as far as the rescue goes. He fucking killed three people. They gave them full names. It's kind of crazy. They let you play as this man for one boss fight. For real. At least have told me more about those assassins. In case you were wondering, I took pictures of the three skangers as souvenirs. How long is this message? Because there's no way you can play through these fights. The game. The baseball player. The bus. It's a Volkswagen or some shit. They probably make good wallpaper for your cell. Well, I'm out of things to say, so I'll hang up now. Long message. Hello? Travis, it's me. I have arranged the next fight. Come to my office. Gotcha. I'm gonna bring up how uh dumped up the ring. For real. Mad fucked up, you don't get to fight the baseball boss. So bad, man. Take a seat. There's something I want to talk to you about. Another rule change? Oh. No, it's about Henry. I want to clear the air. Why? We are divorced now, you know. What's that got to do with me? I don't want to hear any of that shit. The last time <laughs> when you and Henry so good. each other. Yeah, I remember. You stopped us instead of letting us settle things for good, like men. But you don't know why I stopped you. I did not want you to have to kill your brother or die yourself. What the hell does that mean? You told me a killer wins by killing. Now you say you want us both to live. Make up your damn mind. They're our fights, and we know how to end them a lot better than some bitch in the box stand. Telling me not to kill. How many personalities do you have? <laughs> so what? You want revenge, right? Your opponents could not care less about that. Once I'm number one, these bullshit ranking fights are over. Got it? Assassins aren't tools. As fucked up as we might be, we're humans too. <laughs> he looks so fucking godly with the visor on, man. I wish I could cut her color coordinate it a little more, but it's still sick. Yo. Oh, it's you again. Is this like the only sword or some shit? Like Oh my god, dude. It's insane. <laughs> the bike pump, bro. Like, it's not even the size for me, it's the movement. Like, the movement's yeah. so excessive. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's, like, all throughout the game, too. Like, the cutscenes of the fucking, like, telephone box shit. I think it's mad funny you knew exactly what I was responding to. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> that, I wasn't looking at I don't the even think her shit was like that in the first moment. game. <laughs> no, dude, it wasn't. It was not. It definitely was not. Crazy. I wonder where the decision came from to include all this shit. 
Because I feel like the first game had a little bit of its own, like, you know, like... Like, it, it was kind of like... Uh, what's the word? I don't know, like, crass? But this game is just, like, bugging out. Like, it, it, it doesn't seem like it has any type of... What do you call it? Like, end nuance. game or goal, you know? Like, yeah, and, like, no uh, nuance. It's kind of just, like, everywhere. Like, it's there just to be there. Especially so in this game, at least. I think they just wanted to try to outdo the first one in as many ways possible. <laughs> Gotta make the fucking screenshot collection of this motherfucker hitting the pose in the beginning of every mission with the visor on. Oh, you know what I just noticed? I just noticed that this sword... Like, I was looking at the hilts when he started up just now, and I noticed they aren't the same each. Crazy. And then I noticed that one sword is uh, like normal length and the other one is like shorter. Yeah. That's that shit like that one guy has, you know? It's like uh, I think it's supposed to be a katana and Watazashi combo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. It was like one, the short one was for defense, right? And the long one was like offense? Or some shit? I don't remember that detail, but I know what you're talking about though. Yeah. Like, what's his name with the white jacket? I think he was with the Oni Waban group? I used the same type of weapon in Dark Souls 3, but it's like not, not a lightsaber, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Aoshi Shinomori, that guy. What the fuck is this? I'm just killing people in a parking lot? Yo, I swear to god, the game just got more quiet. I didn't notice it. I might have to like check out the VOD and see if I'm bugging or not. You miss all thing? Oh, that guy ain't dead? Dude, I want to know where I can find a motel that has these fucking apartment rooms that Travis has. So good. How does he, how do you find a place that cozy? For so cheap. There's a fuck ton of chests here, you see this shit? <laughs> Pirate screen. <laughs> Mad funny, they've got the fucking cyborg voice actor on this shit. Just voicing all the goons. Say goodnight, nuclear reactor! <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, bro. Fucking all the gunmen are out. Okay. Yep. Retribution! <laughs> The funniest thing about the Nathan Copeland thing is like the noise he makes when you suplex him is so fucking funny. Dude, I already forgot that shit. What was it like again? Like <laughs> he goes like <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking so having fucking fun. Funny. It's like they showed the voice actor the animation, and he's like, "What? Well, what noise would you make if someone did this to you?" God, that's how it should be. So good. Saying it mad quiet in the corner. Zero presence. God, it's like the fucking that guy standing in the corner at the party picture, but it's Travis killing a bunch of dudes instead of a party, and the goon's just in the corner. You fucking with me with the cup in his hand? <laughs> Holy shit, these motherfuckers are actually wasting my battery. I'm gonna stand behind this pillar for cover. Yeah, when you let your little cousin play your 3DS. They're wasting my battery! Fucking running in circles in Pokemon, not doing anything. Classic. Many oh my god. Save. Classic. I remember once when I was in, uh... When I was a kid. I didn't know about Pokemon games only having one save per cartridge, so I tried to make a save for my little brother. Still a thing. And that's when it, yeah, it's still a thing, and for no reason, right? Yeah, yeah literally for no fucking reason. Oh, we can't have you cheating. We can't have you making another file and trading Pokemon around in this game that's supposed to single player. Oh, that's a no-no. We can't have you yeah. doing that. But, but yeah, you were saying? <laughs> nah, fucking Nintendo, bro. It's always time to talk about Nintendo sucking. But yeah. I ended up erasing my save by accident, and it, honestly, it worked out for the better. Because on my new save, I tried Mudkip out. And Mudkip's oh, the nice. top one. Nice. Yeah. I'm still a Blaziken guy. Blaziken's a cool design. I never used Blaziken in a team before, but I've always wanted to because it looks cool. Blaziken's mad good. Firefighting is a really good combo. Powerful. Holy shit, I'm like stuck between these pillars. Kickboxing chicken is also kind of a hard concept. Real. If chicken could wear boxing gloves, I'd fucking give him in an instant. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. What is this shit? I remember the Pokedex entry for Blaziken saying some insane shit like how it can leap over a skyscraper in one bounce. Superman. Or John Flesher decided it'd be more convenient if this guy flew. We should go back to beating the fuck out of people like we're like in Popeye. What's the matter? For what, Popeye? We should go back to beating the fuck out of people like they fought in Popeye. Like where you just so throw your you... arms around while, while you like mumble under your breath. Like, oh, how do you no. like that? You just... Why I order? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Asshole. Doing the windmill punches on someone's face while talking mad shit. I'm gonna give you the one, two, one, two. You, plant based meatballs? Oh, thank you. Classic. The trick, bro, the illusion.
Dude, how many motherfuckers am I gonna have to kill this mission? What is this shit? Army. For real. You remember that, uh... You remember that scene in the Silver Case where Tokyo shows the bartender a picture of his turtle and the bartender's like, that's fucking disgusting, get it away from me, and like... <laughs> she was like, how dare you? Don't you see how lovely he is? I can't believe you would say something like that. For real. I remember that bartender being a funny character, but thinking in that moment. And he is funny, but like, yeah, for real, you're like, I thought you were cool. For real, bro. You, you, you say that insanely hurtful shit. <laughs> What is this fucking mechanic, bro? I'm not allowed to lose? Am I bugging? This shit happened when I was doing the Ryuji fight. I thought it was like scripted because it was the Ryuji fight. But it just happened while I'm fucking fighting against these guys now. I don't remember. My fucking, like, second win mechanic that revives me, like, three times. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth wins incoming. Yeah, for real. Dude, all of these guys are voiced by Cyborg. What is that? Hey, Listen to this. Oh, this just reminded me of something mad annoying. I was trying to do a free fight in No More Heroes 1. And it was one of the ones where they keep spawning the motherfuckers with guns. And you have to manage oh, them while the fighting the other ones. Yeah. Especially since every free fight in No More Heroes 1 is like, yo, you only got one hit. And this thing kept happening to me. Where I would be focusing on a melee enemy and trying to like getting ready to dark step them. But you get shot like in a frame or screen or some shit. What would happen is I would uh I would be blocking, right? And then the motherfucker in the background would start shooting me with like a huge stream of bullets. So I can't dark step the bullets around the, the melee guy that I'm actually close to. Because you could dark step enemies when you block other enemies' attacks as long as you're in range. Right. And I'm stuck in block stun because of this shit is going so fast that I can't even, like, dark step away from the stream of the bullets. And then the melee enemy in front of me will just decide to do his fucking unblockable. And he'll fucking hit me, and I have no way of getting out. That shit was crazy, bro. It happened to me like three times. I was having a, a bad time and let it die this morning, because like, if like two or three enemies are too close to each other, I swear like, my guy will only be able to hit one of them, but if the other two close by are start attacking, they'll just stun me out of my move and start wailing on me and I can't get away. Oh god, yeah, dude. Uh... Unless you have some, like, really wide swinging type type shit. Why was that guy running away like that? What the fuck was that? He was running with his torso in a fucking, like, 90 degree angle. What are you looking yeah, at? Yeah, what the? Yeah, crowd control is like, I'm not even aware of how to crowd control and let it die, to be honest. Like, all I usually do is run away until I can get them, like, bottlenecked somewhere, you know? Yeah. If there's multiple of them. I was thinking of trying to stockpile explosive mushrooms and see if I can throw those, like, in groups of enemies. Oh, yeah. That shit's scary, though. Like, throwing one, and then they run up to you, so that shit blows up in your face. Margaret. Oh shit. Oh, shit.
People who played this in 2009 and 10 seeing their first goth anime woman. <laughs> Getting scared. Grade A dialogues. <laughs> the grocery store? Fuck this. Fucking Trader 51 firing all his Ghost Riders after No More Heroes 1 came out. Yeah, probably before No More Heroes 1. Your shoes untied. Yo, what's going on with the song? Crazy shit. Oh, it's a No More Heroes remix. The fucking guitar just came in. Oh, this is Max Payne bullet time. It's Payne! Give it up! <laughs> Bring it on! I remember when Naeem would say that, like, years ago, he'd put, like, hella emphasis on pain. He'd be like, it's pain! Get him! <laughs> Fuck. They put, like, a cartoonish amount of emphasis on it. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, we're like New York, uh, New York mobsters. Or East Coast, East Coast City mobsters. Whack the sucker. They call me Frankie the Bat Niagara. Why? Did you cry a lot? Dude, what the hell is going on with the song? Oh, the minimap actually differentiates gun enemies with like normal enemies? Crazy. Starting to notice that one of uh, a favorite storytelling elements for characters is to either have twins, clones, or alternate personalities. <laughs> Pretty good. <God. laughs> the recurring, the recurring themes.
Damn, this guy's gonna book it out of the fucking main area. Always some fucked up implication about Mondo and David being twins and looking kind of like Fumio. For real. I mean, you talking about Killer is Dead Mondo and David? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't he? He's confirmed to be a clone, right? Like he's actually a clone of Kodai. Uh, I don't think so. I remember whenever I was looking into it. Could have said something about think, he's like think of them as distant relatives or something, which might be his way of Im implicating it. I don't fucking know. I could have sworn. The only wrong, thing but... is, the only thing there that I can think of though that makes me not think that's the case is because there were flashbacks of them as kids. So like unless unless Kodai was cloned when he was super young, but I don't know. Oh fuck! You know what? I just fucking confused Sumio Mondo with Mondo Zappa. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, yeah. Mondo Zappa is a clone of Sumi of Kodai, right? No, that's what I was saying. Like, it's that's not confirmed. It's kind of like just theorized or guessed. Ah. Uh. Unless it was confirmed recently. God, reading some of these old threads, people have like mad inconsistent like answers for this shit. I wonder if Suda just changes what he says every time someone asks him, maybe. David Lynch. Because <laughs> one of them is on some, like... I don't know, I actually can't think of it, but one of them is saying some shit like, Oh yeah, you know, Suda says he just likes Sumio as a character, and he just... He just uses them, like, repeatedly. Like, he just likes the design, you know? Like, I think there's some storytellers who do shit like that, right? Where they kind of just yeah. do, like, a retelling of the same character or a similar character. Like, in a different setting or whatever. That's definitely what he does with Cam movie. Classic. It was just too good to let him go, you know? <laughs> they should bring back the shades, though. That shit is crazy. Fucking cold-ass look. That's not even the same guy. For real. He likes the name Jean, too, apparently. Tragic. Then let me teach you. How <laughs> yeah, how am I supposed to fight her? She's all the way up there. Yo, how am I supposed to fight her? She's all the way down there. Oh shit, is it playing like the better version of the song? Crazy. She can shoot me through the fucking brakes. Yo, what the fuck? Those blow up? Oh shit, I can't use those as cover. Having the fucking... Having the fucking sickles that turn into sniper rifles is insane. For real. It's a good concept. <laughs> Damn, the sprinter. Hold on a second. Yes, it works in this game too. You can fucking go into the settings by pressing F11. I'm raising the volume on that shit. I need to hear it. And the sound effects definitely got louder when I fucking got into the fight. Honestly, now I'm thinking of it. The fact that it's like canon that that man was cloned a bunch of times, that makes sense that Suda can just reuse him anytime he wants to. It must have been his, like, his explanation just to, like, you know? Like, I, I'm definitely gonna need this in the future. 
<laughs> so he planted the seed like Oda, you know? I mean, and then like Sundance shot shows that the clones can become their own person, so... Yeah. That's such an insanely cool name. <laughs> Sundance shot, that shit's sick. <laughs> For real. I was searching him up earlier when we were talking about him because I forgot him. Although I actually just don't know anything about him because fucking... I think he's in Flower, Sun, and Rain, but I don't remember if he's in anything I played. Uh, he's in the very beginning of the Solar Case, but he's not really important yet to the story. Right. Right. He's there so you can be like, huh, I've seen him before, remember he's important. <laughs> I don't know, like, what his big... I don't know, like, his bigger role is yet, though. I feel like changing the sound settings... Bug. I feel like nothing changed when I changed the settings, bro. Now, now I hear it, but I had to like take like seventy percent, and now I can't I hear the sound effects louder. anymore. Oh, the flash kick! No way, turning into a ghost. Before I actually turn them into a ghost. I got shot in the head? JFK. He asked? Oh my god! That classic ass post saying JFK's gay as hell for laying down. <laughs> oh, yeah, classic. <laughs> it's so Dude. Up. Jackie's fat ass up like this. <laughs> Am I supposed to run over there? Oh. Man, fuck it, I'm dodge rolling all the way over there. I'm just cheesing it, bro. It's fucking if Jason's feature. head was like two centimeters smaller, he could have ducked and dodged the bullet. <laughs> His head just did that. He just decides, hmm, my head is going to blow up now. Oh, there's some shit over here. Never mind. He's running all the way across this shit. Yo, what's a random ass desire of mine I've been having lately? Oh, what is it? 
I've been wanting to buy a wand. Like, to put stuff in. Dude! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I feel that. I've actually had the exact same thing going for me, too, man. And I know someone else who's actually, happen. like, on the same shit, too. Dude, I'm worried I wouldn't be able to take care of it. Yeah. Like, I'd want, like, an expensive one that you actually have to season. The real shit. Like, the bok choy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen, like, that classic, uh, that gif of the dude making the huge thing of stir-fry where he's like putting all of his weight into his arms and like sloshing it back and forth to stir it. Ooh. I'm sorry, Ben, what was that? No, I was talking about the gift that I saw, but I'm gonna try to find it. The one of the dudes stir-frying the big fucking thing of rice oh. in the walk. Oh yeah, going hard with it? Yeah. 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 The right front. That's not the gift I meant to send. There we go. Riveting melody. Is it? You don't have any pasta. I'm not sure. You can take a look though if you want. Did you? No, don't kill her. One hundred percent. That is so sublime. Yeah, this gift is classy as fuck. <laughs> God, that's all the fans were saying. Yeah, I need to be on that shit that that guy's on. God. There's like 10 different versions of this GIF, and like, they just get blurrier and blurrier, like, the more you go down. Like, Every time, versions. bro. I was... Bro, I forgot what post it was. But, uh, I saw, like, uh... It was either someone replied in the comments or it was the post itself. It was like one of those classic ass images. And a lot of people are just talking about like, yo, every time I see this, it gets blurrier and blurrier. It's mad funny. All these fucking websites just degrading the fuck out of every image. Yo, yeah, this what? Version of it, that, 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 like, flips it for no flips reason. the YouTube poop edit? Spec. Brothers back to back. The walk bros back to back cooking. <laughs> Doing the same motion with the same amount of rice. So good. What up, Shadow? Super Walk Brothers. Wow. Hello, it's me. Dude, if you type in walk in the gift search, it just those half of them are the fucking Chinese rock gift. <laughs> oh, yeah. That shit taking up the results, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, just some casual racism on the gift search. Real. Yo, I bet a good lock is fucking expensive. Word, I can't even imagine. Probably like 30, 40 bucks for like a decent one, not even like a really good one. The cap iron prices are so awful. Uh, I've thought about getting a mortar and pestle as well. Oh, classic. The tools. Yeah, the little bowl. Grind up your own spike a little bit.
Dude, knowing like, my luck, I'd probably shell out a lot of money for a good walk. And then it wouldn't take me better than my play around a lot. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's like you hold your cat up like this. Yo, what up, Tanner? Uh -huh. You like hold your cat up and you kind of like bring them towards a wall, and if they don't put their paws in front of them, it means like they have bad reflexes or something, like they're just stupid. <laughs> Demi Fiend summoning. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, Ben, I wasn't able to hear what you were saying earlier. No, I was just mumbling some shit to myself about, like, knowing my luck. I'd, like, probably spend good money on a walk and then just have it not taste much better than my skillets. Mmm, the skillet. Powerful. But I want to make genuine stir fry. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you want to try, I feel like it's worth it enough, honestly, to have. It's just a matter of finding one that's, like, not, like, shitty, you know? It's crazy that I recognize some of these areas. Oh, it's another car segment. I can't control it. Oh, here we go. Going to slaughter them like animals. The music made me uncomfortable. This is how I ride my scooter through the streets. Weaving between all the lanes. You do what you gotta do to survive in New York. <laughs> you do what you gotta do to raise your chances of dying in New York. <laughs> uh, here, that's so easy to do. There's just so many, like, <sighs> incorrect streets to walk down where you'll die probably. The dark alleys. I think some guy was gonna hug me the other week in a dark alley. Oh yeah, I think you told me about that, right? The motherfucker tailing yeah, yeah. you? He wasn't tailing me, he was like trying to hide in the shadows, but I could still see him anyway. And then someone's porch light came on for a second and like shined on him, and he immediately jumped out and like walked away like he wasn't trying to hide. Fucking getting scared and dipping. Why are you Where am I going? Alien? No, Mickey Mouse. You've got to be. 
Oh, it's this motherfucker. It's the it's the Fury, bro. His helmet is shining like it's the fucking what do you call it? Like it's the thing. Oh, the igloos. What the hell? I gotta fight a whole fucking space program now. I can't believe these motherfuckers have an orbital laser. A Soviet astronaut, bro, insane. And he's just able to fly and teleport. I'm just not allowed to hit him. Got them Vladimir, bro. This guy can project force fields. Crazy. Telekinesis? Oh, the force field is getting red. He's getting mad. A red Russian. <laughs> Omega red. This song is interesting. 
Sounds like some shit I'd hear in a fucking, like, I don't know. Some late 90s type shit. Why is this fucking ancient spaceman so powerful? God, he failed. He fucking failed. He hit me out of the No way, bro. No way. Whoa. This dude's making shit up. dodge roll out of anything in this game. Oh, there's an invisible wall here? Are you for real? How the fuck are you supposed to know? I almost got fucked because of that shit. Crazy. This song sounds like one of those, like, 90s, like, funkadelic, uh, psychedelic type songs. Not funkadelic. Fuck space. Ain't nothing out there for us. For real. What? Face. my ship. It's over, Captain. This, this is Earth. Yeah. Welcome home. So, I'm finally back. After all this time. Again, Soviet Russian. Blue sky. Speaks English. Or being a cosmonaut, that's why Glory they have to know English. True. They they usually are some high IQ ass niggas. I think to be an astronaut, you have to be like by or at least by or trilingual, just because all the different international like space, space motherfuckers. Programs. Yeah. You gotta be able to communicate. Just leave him alone. Let him rest in peace. 
We must dispose of the remains. It's policy. Screw your policy. He's back with the Earth after who knows how long. You're not gonna suck him up with your damn vacuum. So honorable. For real, bro. Fucking hate this Sylvia chick. God, she's mad annoying in this game. I know, right? But the second she implies she might let him hit, he stops caring. Secret. I don't have time for the next one. Must be Alice Twilight. Yeah. I have figure it out and get there. Damn you. But she keeps talking about Akashic Russia records and points. You've heard about two of the supernatural gateways in Santa Destroy. The third led to the most fitting mystery of all for a city fixated on the ranks. Sealed from the cacophony of modern life, there lived the last ascetic. Abstaining from all worldly indulgences, the ascetic spent every waking hour in training. Battle had become an obsession for this warrior, the end all, the raison d'etre. You know I've never abstained from anything. Still, I can relate. When you're so focused on any goal, it can make you blind to what you truly <laughs> desire. <sighs> you know, it's interesting how these are the world rankings, but it all takes place in one city. For real. The most important city in the world. The last city in the world. <laughs> A word? You're gonna make me walk mad slowly? Okay, I might as well just stand there. God, I think I'm coming down with some shit. I've had a little cough, but I figured maybe it was just because it's dry in my room because I have so many fans going. But now I'm starting to actually feel some shit in my neck. Yeah, for real. Oh shit! No way, bro. What the fuck is that? What? <laughs> they did this hero's face shit just so they could fucking put up this giant mural of Travis. Oh. Using the render from the game. Like, cover. I always thought this render of him looked mad weird. Yeah, his face looks odd. Yeah. 
all these like fucking graffiti stencil style renders of his face. And they're all of him smiling too. He ha he doesn't even have anything to smile about in this game. <laughs> That's true. Now, pretty much everything in this game has been a net negative for him. Sprinting. Damn, these enemies are kind of damage sponges now. Fucking hate that shit. Yeah, for real. That's such a like lazy artificially way to the lengthening the time, yeah. Straight up. I guess they forgot to... Oh, there we go. Oh, you can break shit to fucking find stuff? Like a video game? No way. <laughs> you got some big cojones! <laughs> That's crazy. Now raise the sound effects up a little bit. Oh, there's a fucking guy with a gun. This minimap should actually helpful. The radio head! Listen to this! <laughs> I love that template, bro. It's so good. Damn, dude. Oh, word? I'm just gonna go back to the fucking treasure chest over here. It really is a shame you can't fucking open the chest while you're in lion mode, tiger mode. Out of my 
my way! You're a joke! Bring it on! Oh my god. Yeah, I just don't hate shit. For real. Dude, imagine if I wasn't sped up right now and I had to do all these hits in normal speed. Crazy. Bro, these motherfuckers are still walking out of the cars, bro. The clown car. Piling in. And it's like two of these big motherfuckers just walked out after four motherfuckers came out of the car already. Fucking sitting on each other's laps, bro. Just had like a genuine sitcom moment where I'm eating some chips in the break room and I looked at the bag and just happened to see that they expired like a week ago and like my shell my chewing broke down for a minute and then I went right back to eating them like I didn't even read that they expired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually like a classic of life. Dude, my little brother honestly, I don't fuck with this drink at all, but my little brother recently copped Sunny D, bro, like the tropical Tropical, you know, the red Sunny D? Yeah. I know, uh, yeah. I know Sunny D. I like the original. And it's or been sitting in the kitchen, good. bro. Yeah. I, I can't do it anymore. It's evil, bro. Evil beverage. Like, it's definitely, like, the fucking... What do you call it? Like, what do you call diseases that, like, manifest in your family? Um, like, genetic, gen like, Yeah, like, hereditary. That's the hereditary disease fucking activating beverage right there, bro. That shit has Sunny like a hundred, like thirty something milligrams of sodium in it per serving, like sh type shit. But like a, ga a gallon of sugar. <laughs> yeah, that too. But yeah, bro, it was floating what around the kitchen for a while, a... and like he just told me today. <laughs> yeah, isn't it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be refrigerated or not? After you open it, like if you after you open it, it, it yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, he's just had it sitting out, and then he's telling me, yeah, I think it went bad, man. And he shows it to me, and apparently it went bad in January, like, this year. Oh, he never drank any of it, though? <laughs> he, he had it, he drank, like, half of it. Oh, okay. After he knew it was expired? No, I think it was before. I don't know if he's still oh, drinking okay. it or not. I thought you were coming that like, yeah, look at this. It expired two months ago, and then he poured himself a glass and drank it. I thought that's what he you were getting at. <laughs> God. He said it was tasting <laughs> off to him. I don't know if he's fucking with it anymore, but he seemed like he wasn't gonna. Dude, I, I really liked Sunny D as, as a kid, but I tried drinking it as an adult a couple of years ago, and I was like, this like... tastes like shit. It's crazy, it's like it's right? Like shitty orange juice and like crushed up vitamins put it in it. Like it has that kind of like powdery, medicine-y aftertaste to it. Like, yeah, and have you ever like poured it out of the bottle into a cup? Like it's like watery. Yeah. Like it's like it's like they put water in it, and the water doesn't actually mix with it. So you can see like a layer of water on top of the orange right. like layer. Take before pouring. That shit is wild, bro. I've never even had the colored ones. I've only seen them. Like, I've seen the blue and the red. Sunny D. Oh, God, blue. I didn't even realize. Yeah, there's a blue Sunny D. We have it here. That shit's crazy, honestly. Some of the shit they be fucking just giving these kids, honestly, is mad fucked up. Bro, Adderall. <laughs> So true. That's literally methamphetamine. <laughs> God, I don't even remember what the real effects of that shit are, but I know it's like kind of wild to just be pumping them with it. 
turns you into a fucking robot. I was on the I heard. It like fucks with your shit, right? So you don't like feel much or whatever? It uh... Well, I don't know about that. I definitely like felt stuff on Adderall. It's supposed to make you pay attention. It's supposed to like... Make your brain focus so you don't wander as much, you don't get distracted. And it did do that for me, but here's the thing. People put their kids on it to make them pay attention in school, right? Yeah, it's evil. Like, oh, my, kid, my kid's not paying attention in school, put him on Adderall, he has ADHD. And while... It actually did work. It made me pay more attention to stuff. It didn't make me pay more attention to school. And this is the big flaw of Adderall. It makes you focus more on what you fucking care about. I didn't care about school. So I went from daydreaming in school and not doing my work to focusing on like drawing something in the middle of class while still ignoring my schoolwork. <laughs> you know <what laughs> Legend. That's like, pretty crazy. I go home and play video games for 10 hours straight. Instead of doing my homework, because I didn't give a fuck about homework. So it really does, like, fucking make people focus on shit, I guess, in a way? Yeah, it's, it's, it's an amphetamine, so it, it kind of it makes you feel wired. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's like God. taking a bunch of caffeine. Like, it's not caffeine, but it's kind of like that. It's like you feel really uh, focused and energetic when you take it. It wasn't until I was an adult and I thought about it. I did a little research on it and I was like, I cannot believe that my mom gave me this. And I can't believe that children to this day still are given this. This is like, adults should be given Adderall, not children. Yeah, for real. I've had a bunch of friends who were fucking malpracticed on by fucking doctors. <laughs> like just hitting them with whatever fucking medicine in the world and then getting bodied by the like side effects or whatever. It, it is a legitimate ADHD medicine that does work, but I just don't think- I think if you're like younger than like teenage years, you should never be given it. Like, right, right, right. Like it's literally like developmental times. Like you don't yeah. want to be getting hit exactly. with shit like that in exactly. your system. That shit probably fucked me up in some ways I'm not aware of yet. Yeah. That was like in fourth grade. Like fourth grade to like ninth or tenth, I was on Adderall. That shit's how I think the original Meat Boy. Wait, what? What happened to Meat Boy? Adderall's, Adderall's how I built. Uh, that's how I beat the original Meat Boy. Fuck, focused. <laughs> I seen some of the stages from it, but I haven't seen all of them. I seen how like wild they get, fucking like, platforms and hazards and shit. <laughs> indie indie platforming. I've never played Super Meat Boy. I know that's the like more popular one. Everyone knows. Yeah. That's the one that came out on console. Shit, whenever indie games were blowing up on the 360, I think. The, the OG one was like a new ground splash game. Oh, this is the move I unlocked from fucking making Gene skinny again. <laughs> this shit kind of goes crazy, bro. I'd do it in real life if I could. I don't think I've ever seen the original Meat Boy. It had oh, pixel graphics, so I like the. Of the hand drawn like flash graphics, though. Oh shit. If I could get these guys all rounded up in a corner and then just cheese this move on them, it'd probably do mad damage per second. Get your jollies! <laughs> Oh my god!
Bring it on! What the hell? <laughs> Yo, this moves crazy. I gotta hit this shit the next time I see a minor inconvenience, bro. <laughs> Fucking jumping, spinning, slash. Real life? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Family forgets to do the dishes? I'm in there, bro. Fucking jumping and spinning with the blades out. <laughs> On the sink. And then when I stop spinning and I look at the sink, all the dishes are gonna be clean. Oh, oh is this guy running away from me? Crazy. Yeah, Why are the swordsmen so scared? I, I admire the Sumio guy. The fact that he can just proclaim himself as a searcher and then people start hiring him immediately. It's that easy. <laughs> so good. Maybe I'll put that shit on my fucking D uh not my DS. I do have a modded 3 DS though, I could probably do that shit actually. But Yeah man. A couple years ago I was like, uh eh, the three DS prices are probably gonna keep going up and I already have a two DS, but I wanted to get like I actually do like the three D gimmick on the three DS, so I decided, you know what, let me right. just get one of those new ones with the fucking <laughs> What do you call it? The the stick? Yeah. Yeah. So I bought one of those used off of somebody on like Facebook Marketplace or something. But, but because I knew the fucking prices were gonna start getting crazy. And I modded that shit. I wanted to get a I wanted to get a new 2DS, because I like how they looked and modded, oh, yeah. but I never did, now they're expensive. But I like the whole, like, matte finish with, like, the blue outline on the plastic, I thought it looked nice. True, it does have a very nice design. I had the buttons. original 2DS, like, the, the, the loaf of bread slice. Oh, I was gonna say the axe blade. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I fuck with that it's shit, honestly. more comfortable than you think. Yeah, for real. I remember holding one for the first time I can use it, because I have a friend who got one. Because I'd never held one. It always looked really uncomfortable. I, I figured it'd be like holding a tablet, like a slab of plastic. Yeah, like trying to force a tablet into like a game, like, <clears throat> grip. Like when you're playing on an emulator or something. I thought like the back being flat would be uncomfortable. True, no like ergonomic screws or nothing. Dude, holy fuck, bro. So much damage sponge. How the fuck do I kill these guys fast? Do I have to just down them and get the down attack on them? The damage sponge shit is just the worst. Yeah, man. Classics of game design. I remember watching my cousin play Borderlands 2 on the highest difficulty. And he was like so pissed off because it's like he was telling me too, he was like literally all they did was give every enemy a billion health. Like that's that's like what they did really, they changed it. So he just God. takes an hour to kill everything. It's even worse in shooting games too, because you'll be shooting a motherfucker straight in his head point blank, and it takes like and it it'll take like more than ten hits and you're sitting there like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Jesus Christ, bro. The fucking Travis voice lines when you recharge the sword in this game, too. Like, he's going, oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think like harder difficulties to make the enemy AI more aggressive and maybe give you less health. But not, don't pump the enemy health up though. I don't think that helps at all. That doesn't make it harder. They just makes it tedious. Yeah, for real. In like most, if not all, cases. <clears throat> Although I like to say all from experience. I mean, you can give them a little extra health, but it's like whenever it like double or triples from a simple difficulty bump, that's too much. Yeah. And honestly, the combat, at least for me, since I don't really know like the high level shit, just feels kind of mashy in this game. Like I'm kind of just mashing buttons. I'm having a little fun doing it, but this times where I'm like doing, where I'm like going through the stage or doing a fight, and I'm like, man, I wish this shit would end. I'm trying to just rush through it, you know? Yeah. I was gonna say, that's me playing Tekken. I'm just mashing buttons and having fun with it. For real. Oh, the bell. Screaming the hardest you've ever heard anyone scream. Oh, I opened that chest, but I almost forgot to fucking grab the contents. Searcher. Oh, this guy's dying pretty fast. See, like, I don't know, those guys in the apartment building must have been fucking demons or something. Because <laughs> that shit was taking mad long earlier. I don't know if I'm bugging or what. Double chainsaw action. The double rainbow. <laughs> Classic. The awe of existence. Dingle do dingle, dingle do dingle do go. See the beauty in the world. <laughs> It's honestly mad funny that this level is so long, because I feel like all the other levels in this game are mad short, or at least they have been so far. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now I'm thinking about it. Because you did get to the boss and you only passed the most of these. Yeah, it was usually like a room or two, or like maybe like a... Like the, like the stage with the psycho killer person, right? It was kind of just like walking around outside for a little bit, and then you immediately like get to that house. All the all the stages in the first one were kind of long. God, even let's shake had you run down that hallway for like five minutes. Classic. The final hallway. Oh, I should have looked at the mini map. <laughs> Holy shit, this voice actor going insane. You know it's kind of interesting, they kind of have that Zandatsu shit going on in this game. Where like, based on where your slices connect, you kind of, it shows on the opponents. Get on! <laughs> Classic. Bullseye! 
Gatorade. Squeezing the Gatorade out of their spines. The juice. The electrolytes. God, I need to actually replay that. I installed it on my deck and it looks and runs really fucking good. I just Dude. need to actually play through it again. Yeah, that shit's honestly like the go-to for when I want to say like how like nice the Steam Deck is. In terms of like character mm -hmm. action games. Like it runs Metal Gear Rising like time. comfortably. That game was too ahead of its time on the graphics. Like, I still think it could have passed for a PS4 game when it came out, but the PS4 oh. wasn't a thing yet. Absolutely, yeah. Honestly. But that shit still looks good on max settings. I'm crazy how good NPR looks. I remember trying to run it on my like old laptop when I was a kid and the game was new. Like I I pirated it because I wanted to see how it would run on my laptop and I already had it on my PS3. And I remember trying to play and being like, doom. And it was like real bad. Like it was so bad that like shit wasn't loading. Like I remember the cutscene when the Metal Gear Ray slams you into the building. The building didn't even <laughs> render in. So oh, wow. So Raiden just flew and then hit something and mid hit like the invisible air behind him. And you can see like the fucked up skybox behind the building. It's like a slanted like fucking floor. Yeah, I played that shit on my studio laptop so we can spend that on stream as well. You actually bought it on Steam or you pirated it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was only like 30 bucks when it came out. It was only 30 bucks when it dropped? Yeah, on Steam? Yeah, pretty sure. Holy shit, that's crazy. I didn't know, to be honest. Honestly, I still don't know. I wish I could... Maybe if I look at my PSN, I'll know. You know, it's crazy. It's, oh, there's collectibles in these? Oh, I know, it's the fucking power-up shit. But, uh, on my computer, I had to fucking... That shit was on the lowest settings, and I played with keyboard and mouse, but I still played it. Yeah. Honestly, keyboard and mouse is kind of nice on that game. Did you use the mouse to do, like, the slash shit? Like, when you... <laughs> yeah. Like, to aim the angle or whatever? That's cool. Yeah, I thought it was a lot easier. That's right. Four. God, the apartment building. Travis touchdown, correct? Yeah, that's me. The no more hero. The no more hero. Right when I'm about to reach Why didn't you stay there? <laughs> I was hoping we'd fight after I became number one. Sorry to crush your dreams. I hate to do it. <laughs> but I've got business with that son of a bitch. And I can't let you get to him first. Please, don't think of me as a nuisance. But I will make sure your victory isn't easy. My pride is the second rank requires that much. Honorable. I like that in a woman. I've seen a lot in my journey up the ranks. An endless she burning? Of violence now broadcast as a spectacular sport. Yeah. Travis, why do so many assassins join if we are all going to end up killing each other in the end? Does it really matter why? Analyze the tapes. It, does. it matters more than anything. We have all become trapped, don't you see? <laughs> Dude, I hit my friend Chris with the uh, the call out reference with the demon. Never were playing Fortnite. Because I got down and I watched the guy run around the house into it, and I was like, he's coming up the stairs. Meet him there. Classic. <laughs> Selling the soul for good uh, callouts. You are the crownless king, the one who got out. 
You reached the top, then walked away. Well, I'm back now, aren't I? With you, it is different. You are the normal <laughs> heroes. Why'd she say that? Release me from this cycle. Free us all in a crimson sea. You asked for it. Bring it on! Don't disappoint. <laughs> The spider? Oh, this fucking song classic. Oh, she has like 50 blades. How am I winning? General Grievous. Bro, General Grievous regularly learns the hard way that having a bunch of lightsabers with him is better than fighting. For real. He was kind of nice though in the cartoon from what I saw. But in the fucking movies, he was just fucking coughing up along all the time. And barely fucking moving. He's like a big toy on the movies. Yeah. <laughs> No, I agree. This is the only cool one the clone is. Yeah, man. That's mad fucked up. Didn't George Lucas, like, not fuck with him or some shit? I don't even know. It's his character. <laughs> Classic George Lucas, bro. Just doing everything mad randomly. In terms of, like, decision making and stuff. Like, he came up with that dude. <laughs> it's on him for treating him that way. For real. She's all over the fucking place, bro. I can't even hit her. My favorite story about George Lucas is whenever he, uh, took David Lynch out to lunch, like, back in the 80s. Wait, what'd you say? My favorite George Lucas story is when he took David Lynch out to lunch back in the, like, late 80s. Fuck, I've never heard this story before. What happened to him? Oh, oh yeah, he was, he was scoping out new directors for, uh, episode... Whatever the next one was gonna be, episode 5 or whatever. Oh shit, was this five. before or after Dune happened? It was right before Dune happened. Crazy. And, uh, like, if, if Lynch had said yes to Lucas, he probably wouldn't have made Dune. He would have made the second Star Wars movie instead, which probably would have been fucking insane. I can't even imagine what Star Wars movie made by him would be like. For real? That's wild. But, uh, he, like, showed up at his house, and George, like, gave him a tour. And showed him like all the Star Wars stuff, and like apparently when Link saw like what a Wookiee was, he started to get a fucking migraine. <laughs> what? He wasn't <laughs> fucking with them. Yeah, he started to get like a like a really bad headache after the more George showed him like the Star Wars stuff. Hmm? And then uh, I used butter, olive oil, garlic, okay. salt, and parmesan, like a tiny bit of parmesan. All right, cool. Whenever uh. He was done giving him a tour and like pitching him what Star Wars was. They went out to lunch and apparently they went to this place that only served salads. And, salads uh, only. Yeah, and George Lucas insisted on driving them there in his like really expensive sports car in which he like sped there the whole way, like he over sped? 20 miles over the speed limit. Yeah. No. <laughs> he he oh, fucking drove Lynch to that place going like 90 miles an hour, bro. Fucking halves to get to the salad so fast. They're a little al dente, I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Be careful. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Needless to say, he didn't so get that like, movie. Make, keep it like mixed so it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. Because it will do that. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to Mm -hmm. Do you want more? Yeah, I'll have some more after you're done. After I'm done, you want me to just save you what I don't have? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will start. <laughs> God, is there any more details to that story? Well, there probably are, but that's like the gist of what I remember was like, he wasn't fucking with the Star Wars shit at all, and then George just like, drove way over the speed limit to lunch. 
<laughs> and then he like politely declined of directing the movie. God, bro, crazy. George Lucas and David Lynch meeting is just a range, bro, of a concept. I thought it was interesting that uh, he was scoping out Lynch. Never Lynch had only made like two movies at that point. Oh, word? Yeah. I think all he had done was Eraser Head and Elephant Man. I mean, Elephant Man was like a huge hit, but still. Hmm. The yeah, what the fuck? Your dodges are immaculate. Million dollar thing. It's too good. What was that one about again? Was it like a documentary, wasn't it, or some shit? Yeah, Elephant Man, it's it's not a documentary, it's still like... It's it's more of a story based on a true story, but it's not like a one for one documentary. Oh, uh, okay. Like, the main character is based off a real guy who went through a lot of, like, what happens in the movie, but it's not like a one for one educational thing. <laughs> right, right, right. The embellished, the slight embellishment. What the fuck did she just hit me with? I'm, I'm behind cover. I don't remember if it was Wookiees or Ewoks that gave him a fucking migraine <laughs> when he when he saw them. <laughs> Oh god, I could easily see it being the Ewoks, bro. Yeah. But David Lynch loves little people. <laughs> <laughs> the character trait. Poor little motherfucker. Recruiting them like Luffy recruits people in One Piece. <laughs> I need a musician! <laughs> Classic. Must have. Wanting a musician before a navigator is honestly so based. <laughs> For real. He just knows what's important, bro. It's mad interesting about how his idea of what a pirate is just comes from like knowing Shanks really. And none yeah. of the other shit. I think that's why he's so nice, because Shanks was the only pirate crew that he knew and they were super nice. So he just thinks all pirates really? are nice. <laughs> Damn, you can't even I mean, fuck from, with that shit. From what I can tell, pirate in one piece just means person with a boat. <laughs> the fucking line between like who's a good guy and a bad guy is super blurred. Oh, she's not coming down from there. Crazy shot. <laughs> for real. Incredible. Everything I hoped for. Tell me your name. Ah, the visor is so good. I keep forgetting you have it on until a cutscene happens. Oh, have what on? The visor. Oh yeah, dude, this shit's so good. I always forget about it until a cutscene happens. Just missing the QTE. What happens if you do that? I've never even thought about it. Do you hear the sound it's making right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's giving <laughs> you all the time. <laughs> oh my god, the sword just clipped through him. 
If it makes me redo the boss fight, bro, I'm gonna just close the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she stopped. I don't think she's moving anymore. <laughs> me after watching someone fail a front flip. <laughs> Crazy. The sound is insane. <laughs> Screaming. It's just like for real. Torment. You are now officially ranked second. See that? Now that was a battle. Look at this blood. We humans are alive, even if we are assassins. Doesn't matter if it's a video game, movie, drama, anime, manga, we're alive. People shed blood and die. This isn't a game. You can't just selfishly use death as your tool. This Fucking grabbing her face. You've already forgotten she existed. Same way you would have forgotten me. And that's why I'm tearing down the UAA. You could just kill her right now, bro. You could never shut down the You could put a stop to all of this. Fighting to be the best human nature. It's evolution. Who are we to try and stand in its way? Fuck that. I want to be a hero by my own standards. You need to wake up, Travis. Take your own goddamn advice. Hmm. Damn, it's almost like there's no more heroes in this world. <laughs> he's thinking <laughs> that while he's using the bathroom. Yeah. It's a butt thing here. You know where to go? It's close by. Hold on. Someone's at the door. It's my first time here, isn't it? A VIP just showed up. Talk to you soon. Sure. Sylvia, I can't figure you out. You don't like me? I didn't say that. But there's a lot of things about you I don't get. You lie. You're greedy. You're a fucking contradiction. Fucking like wearing these shades. You hate me. Well, your personality kind of sucks. Sleeping so with you do hate me. Ah, uh, godlike. I'm crazy about you. What do you mean? <clears throat> You just tried to fucking gaslight. Fuck if I know. Storytelling. Dude, I could not. I could not fucking do that. Not not knowing my fucking twin brother was already married to her. That's just weird. Oh, are you for real right now? No way. <laughs> Downward fucking dog. Oh, he looked mad weird there. Yo, get the fuck out. Just knocking his shit over. <laughs> For real. There's another one over here too. They were so proud of their physics in this game. They had to put them on everything. For real. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna wrap that session up for now. Thank you.
Very buttery. Careful. Mm -hmm. And all hands next time. Yeah, we're killing uh, <laughs> Captain Baseball Bad Boy Jr. after this. Max Payne. 